Hey there, do you want to make a working door in Roblox Studio that opens with a keycard? Then this video is for you. Alright, so in this video we'll be making a quick little door that opens and closes with a keycard just like this, where when we touch the block here, the detector, it will open our door. Alright, let's get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a door. So I'm going to add in a part here. I'm going to make it a color gray just to make it like a security door. Call it door. And I'll just make it a uh, door size. Now what we have to do, now what I'll do is I'll just duplicate it, make it on the side, make it a little darker. I'm going to call it hinge. Now in the door, I'm going to add in a weld constraint. Select the weld constraint, make the part zero the door. And make the part one the hinge. Alright, now that I've made the hinge, I'll make another part, make it a color white, I'll make it neon, and I'll call it detector. Now this will actually be the part that the keycard will be touching to check if there is a to check if there is a key card to open the door. So I'm just gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna anchor it. Now we'll just group all of these together and call the model door. Now we'll just add in a script into our door. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do local queen service equals game get service queen service. Now we'll do local door is equal to script dot parent dot door local hinge is equal to script dot parent dot hinge and local detector equals script dot parent dot detector. Now I will do local function open. And I'll leave it empty for now. I'll just comment opening the door. Now what I'll do is, is I will do a local open state is equal to two curly braces and local closed state is equal to two curly braces. Now I'll do open state dot C frame is equal to hinge dot C frame times C frame dot angles zero comma math dot rad 90 and zero. Now I'll do the same for the closed state local closed state dot C frame is equal to hinge dot C frame times C frame dot angles zero zero zero. Now we'll just have to do a tween info, local tween info is equal to tween info dot new, and then I'll just call it one. Now one is uh, the amount of seconds that this tween will, the animation of the door opening and closing will take. Now after we've done this, we will do in the function, we'll do, um, actually, we actually have to make the animation. So um, local open animation equals Queen service colon create. Now we have to move the hinge. Use tween info and set the close uh, open state. Now we'll just do the same for the closed animation. Now that we've done that, we're actually gonna in their function. We're going to play the open animation. We're going to wait two seconds and then we're going to play the closed animation. Now we actually have to check for the key card. So in our script, we're going to do script.parent.detector.touched connect function hit. Now this will check if our detector here is touched and we'll return hit, which is the object that touched it. So now we have to check if hit.parent.name is equal equal to key card. Then, and now before we keep on writing, we actually have to make our key card. So I'm just going to make a quick key card by making a part here. And you can make this look however you want. I'm just going to make a little part here. Make it blue. Move it like this. Make this part orange. Just to make it look a bit like a key card. And now I'll just take this part put in a weld constraint, 
select the weld constraint, select part 0 as this part and part 1 as this part. Now this will just keep these two connected so that they don't fall apart. And now I'll just make a tool, call it keycard, call it keycard, and put these two parts inside of it. Now I'll just go ahead and go over to my tool grip editor. Now tool grip editor actually costs Robux. And now I'm actually going to call this orange part handle as we need a part called handle to make it be able to be held. Now I'll just go to my tool grip editor and now tool grip editor actually costs Robux. And if you don't have any Robux, then there are some free alternatives that you can find online, but I'm just going to be using tool grip editor for the video. All right, so now that we have our tool here, I'm actually going to put it into our starter pack. And now we can continue making our script. So now we'll actually just, so now we'll print key card found and we'll just call the function open. Now there's a slight problem that will happen. Now we actually need to make a cooldown. So I'm going to make local cooldown is equal to false. And over here, I'm going to do if cooldown it's equal equal to false then put these inside of here over here I'm going to do cooldown is equal to true wait two seconds and make cooldown equal to false and just remember before making this unanchor the actual door and anchor the hinge in order to make this work Alright, so now if we approach our door here, we touch it with a key card, it will open the door, and yeah, and that's how you make a quick little key card door that opens and closes when you touch it with a key card. Alright, so that's how you make a quick little door that opens with a key card. So thank you for watching. If you did have any problems, make sure to join my Discord. Link in the description. And if you did enjoy, please leave please leave a like and subscribe as that really helps me out and I'll see you in the next video.